hermeneutics. That's a $10 word, and I did go to college to get that knowledge. <laughs> hermeneutics is a fancy way of just saying, how do we assign meaning to things, right? And we do that all the time without realizing it. One of my favorite restaurants growing up is this restaurant called Portillo's. Shout out to people from Chicago, am I right? And it's just something about every time I go there, I feel happiness, right? And it's because growing up, I've thought about this a lot. I went there for school dances. I went there late because it was the only place that allowed kids under 18 in late at night. And it's just like getting a warm hug from your house, from your home, from your youth every time you eat it. Hermeneutics, it's, it's the study of meaning and how we assign value to things. And I think we get a really interesting behind the scenes look of this with Han Kang's The White Book. It's this book where in the opening few pages, she tells you, okay, I grabbed a list of all the things I can think of that are white. And I started to write almost like little memoirs about them, what they meant to my life, what they could mean in my life. But Han Kang elevates that. It's not disconnected little stories about color white. It's the story of her older sister that she tells you in the opening passed away, only a couple of hours old. Her mom gave birth to her, probably in a lower income area. I, I don't know everything about Han Kang's life. If you know more and want to share in the comments down below, I would appreciate that. But you get this sense of of projection, of, of force projection, I want to say. Kind of like we're Star Wars Jedi over here. But it's the idea of this older sister didn't make it. And that allowed my life to survive, right? Because if they had the daughter, if they had the son, they wouldn't have had me. And the way that she takes white and then lays that over this feeling, over this story that has to come out, and what does white mean in the context of this story? That's the best way I can describe the white book. It's a white sheath of paper thrown over something where you can see something behind it, this ghostly image. And it doesn't just stop there, right? We have some really interesting kind of like immaterialist like thoughts. She talks about how reading in the newspaper, there was a man that thought he could hear his uh, twin brother or brother or something that passed away from him. He could hear him speaking, but he grew up in Belgium, so he didn't speak Korean anymore, and he went to go learn more about his past, and that's when he learned, uh, believed that he thought his brother was reaching out to him from the grave. And the narrator talks about how, well, I'm not sure I have that experience, but you know, this is like this almost kind of like ghost story of how her older sister would have lived and how she could have related to things. It's the idea of all these things that are white in life, right? In terms of celebrating life when babies are born, swaddled in white cloths or eating moon cakes to celebrate good fortune. And there's like this dramatic irony of white's supposed to mean this, but it might mean something totally different to me in my life, right? Like maybe you had a bad experience at this restaurant that I love and you're like, oh, I hate that place, right? It's the story of how we normally think of white as this virgin, pure form, and how that isn't the same form with when we're looking at the white sheet with what Han Kang has behind it, with this older sister that didn't make it. And almost like the survivor's guilt of what does this mean to me in my life? And the writing is very poetic. Okay, I don't want you to think that this is a story. It's like almost like you get a whole bunch of different chapters of things like Mooncake, and it's just like one or two pages about, about maybe hermeneutics, about what it means to some people's life, and you start to see how it might mean something different to her as an author. I believe they're mostly autofictional sketches, but some of it is the ghost story of how uh, her sister may have lived or valued things differently in life. And she just explores this from creation to destruction, like the, the rubble of a city after a bombing looking like white dust on the ground. You just have a ton of little one or two page vignettes sketching that is just written so beautiful. The prose is gorgeous. I'm going to link to my friend, Brandon, who made a video on this and he did some readings from that. So if you want a sampling of that, I'm going to link to his video. You know, I heard about this from Katja as well, who talked about how beautiful it was. And it was one of like her backup recommendations, but maybe isn't for everyone because of the deep subject matter. So I had really high expectations walking into this, you know, and can a book ever really live up to those standards when you've built it up so high, you have these, you have these expectations that it's going to be this amazing book and it absolutely reached those standards. 
This is a five-star read for me. The, the poetic combination, the unique look at what meaning meant to her in her life, and the honest approach to establishing meaning in her life in the wake of what happened to her older sister. I fully understand what Katya was talking about now, about how it might be hard to recommend, but this is a channel where I think a lot of us look for facing and diving into that realism. If you're looking for that really honest approach from a wonderful South Korean author, I think Han Kang's book, The White Book, might be something you want to pick up and leaf through because it is absolutely gorgeous and was a wonderful quick read to check out, especially for like a women in translation project. My name has been Una. I hope you have enjoyed your time today. Please make sure you check out those channels I mentioned down below, as well as subscribe and hit that like button. I appreciate you spending some time with us. What's been some of your favorite Han Kang books? Let me know in the comments down below if there's something else I should be checking out from her. Peace out.